I don't know if they've come over or since you've been here. Uh, you said it did come over yesterday? Yeah, you know, he went to my house with Buford yeah. and come back with us, you see. He drove uh, from my house back here and then uh, then stayed till he, uh, when he got here, he called his wife and she, she come and got him and carried him on home. He went down with Buford. And come back with me and be true. Then the rock come and got him after he got here and told her to her. Now you can get her in here if you want her in here. He's got plenty of me ready, believe me. He's taped me a lot. Uh, Tell me. If I need to turn my head or do anything, <laughs> just talk to me. Uh, just sit there and talk, cause it's a moving picture. It's like a movie camera. You, we show it to you on the TV in a few minutes. Oh, yeah. 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 We we'll show it to you on the TV. He takes the preacher preaching his sermon. Oh. You got it with you, then? Uh, Y'all been to church today? Yes, ma'am. Oh well. I wanted to go, but I wasn't able to go. You were feeling good. I woke up sick. Well, maybe you feel better. Maybe you can go Wednesday night and feel better. You didn't have to go Wednesday night. I hope so. If I'm still here. I know you don't like to miss, do you? I sure don't. Not anymore, you have to. Yeah. He just come. Yeah, uh -huh. he's been here since April. I think you've heard him the last time you were there. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, we'll have you. Yeah, yeah. We sure do like him. He sure is a good preacher. I'm glad you like him. Yeah, he Remember Sheila said that she could um, hear him a whole lot better? Yeah. He had a good sermon this morning. I want to see what she's teaching the Beatitudes right oh, now. Brother Barnes is still sticking to us. Yeah. We, we are him too. You know, he preached three years at the church, and then Harold Griffin and Sir Cole run around, and they just put in the running mold, and so they were just, oh, they, were, they started having the division. He, he, he walked out, he was 60, I think it was 69, 65 or 69. He almost got out up and followed him out, so he uh, got outside. And, said where we're we going to have services. Well, we let Chapin, when he was there, he said, now everybody knows where we're going to have services. You know, my old skating rinks down in Feast, we've been having our Sunday school and our meetings out there for the longest. And we would just get some more chairs and, and, and more seats and we just ain't, everything is perfect so we can do better. So we told them, some of the women did call the clubhouse, you know, we got a woman's clubhouse, and it's about, about two, two or three dozen chairs in, uh, in the clubhouse. And we borrowed them chairs for a while, and we borrowed some, you know, benches that somebody had. Anyway, we got, by the time you know, there was already 30, seats in there. Yeah. We could seat over a hundred the first Sunday. That means you had the first Sunday. We had we had a hundred and ten, I think it was. And Mr. Chaffin had no uh, 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 he bought him some new furniture and he had it, his old one sitting out there and under in a little room out there. That was a big barn, you know. And, he carried them in there and set them down that we could use them in the church to sit on. Yeah. There wasn't nothing wrong with them, only they were just so sort of old, you know. So we used them. We got along fine. The Lord sure has blessed us, I know that. Oh, I know you pride your new building. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got one of the best looking buildings it is in Cockwood County. Yeah, I bet you do. It's pretty. Yeah, 
a lot of folks says it's the prettiest church there is in the county to them. Of course, I, everybody don't say that, or at least I haven't heard everybody say it, but everybody that I've heard say anything about it said it. They just yeah. thought it was the most beautifulest place for a church they'd ever saw in here about it. It is in a pretty yeah, place. Yeah, it is in a pretty place. How many members do you have now? I think there are 169. The last I heard it say anything about it. That's good. That's good for a little split off church, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and for such a small area. A little bitty town. That's a lot of people. Seems like a long way. Well, how many churches are there? There's the First Baptist, and then there are a couple others there in Norman Park. Well, there's the, the, the Methodist yeah. and, and, the, and the other Baptist church right there in Norman yeah. Park. And besides all the colored folks' churches around there, there's yeah. three, the three colored folks' churches around there. Is there? Yes, sure oh, is. That's sure good. Is. That's a lot then for, for it to be a little community like it. Yeah. Is. It's true. It is. But we got a lot of folks that comes from our church that comes from south down in there around Mount Olive Church and mm -hmm. in the, down in that way. And then out and then towards Oakdale they comes them that's closest back to our church from Oakdale has left Oakdale Church to come to our church. Yeah. And then there's some that's moved from Mount Olive and and there's three or four different people from different churches that's moved their brothers there since we've been there. I know from Mount Olive and Oakdale and, uh, and then another slide. Slide. Move from slide there. It's good. They're growing fast, you know. Mm -hmm. Ours is starting to grow now that we got that new preacher. Ours is really starting to grow again. Yeah, I am too. Radio, I am too. <laughs> what are you going to do, huh? Daddy's over there. What's that thing do? The television camera. Bitch likes playing with the TV camera. I guess you can't tell that, can you? <laughs> huh? um, I can remember when Daddy used to play with it. His little boys. Yeah. Get out and play with them just like. Just like he's a kid too, mm -hmm. wasn't he? Yeah. It does children good, but it was best to take that time with them that way. Yeah, it does. Yeah, y'all had not done that for me, yeah. We have a, yes, we have. You haven't played oh. with me? You need to go to find some rocks there. A rock collection. She's got to make a rock collection. Collection to take to school. Oh. She hasn't done very much on it. You ought to go up the home to me and go to uh, up on the Royal Creek to the big old rocks and you'll find all kinds of things. Who's over there? <laughs> There's not a whole lot of places to look around here for rocks that she doesn't already have. Because she does pick up a lot of rocks. Wherever we go, get up some rocks. She still has on her church dress. She didn't change her clothes. Of course, it doesn't matter if we're going back to church tonight. I think. Yeah. I don't know where people want to go to church tonight. Well, it depends on how you feel when it's yeah. time to go to church. Sorry, I hate to miss a visit or a day for anything. Yeah. Well, this guy was good. This was a real good revival that we had. Yeah. But it sure was tired. We were tired by Thursday night. Yeah. Going to church every Thursday night. But I tell you what, a week of Bible school will do you in for about two months. <laughs> it wears you out. Bible school will, I know. But every night, you know, that week we went to church, we didn't miss a single service. And it, we were tired by 
Yeah, yeah. Right after Thursday night, we were really tired. You sort of glad that was over with. For yeah, that time. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I felt that way a few times myself. Yeah. You know, after working all day and then come home rushing to the church, I that, that, you really get tired. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good that they only last three and four nights. I think they're more effective that way. Yeah, because you get sore out to you. You're not interested in what's well, being said. That's right. You go too long and you don't get anything out of what's being said. You're sitting there thinking, I sure would wish you'd shut up so I can fool with for a while. So you go home and rest. Go home and rest. You know. to the woods with my dad and some more men over on Oakfilco Creek on the kind of, well, it's on the road right in front of the Oakdale Church. It was down about a mile below. But it was over on the Oakfilco Creek. Frank Norman had a lot of big old timber in there that had never had a turpentine box in it. And big old round trees and you know he'd give all that timber for them to sell down to make the frame and then fit to build up their church and I, I, so I, so my dad took us all one day and we went there and stayed for two or three hours and watched them sell the heavy trees and drag them off to the saw mill they held on the framing they were yeah. selling the framing then for the, for the church wow. Wow. That was interesting, wasn't it? That was in, in, in 19, and 9, 1900. That's when it was. How old were you then? It's been nearly 100 years ago now. It's been, oh, wow. <laughs> been 90 years ago. Yeah. How old were you then? In 19. I was seven years old, but I yeah. remember seeing them since all them trees. It really made an impression, didn't it? Yes, sir. You know, that was uh, some enthusiasm to the children, you know. Yeah. yeah. I saw them saw them trees. And then they'd had, uh, had old mules and log carts, and they'd drive the cart up and straddle the log and hook it all up, and the old mules would go dragging it off out to the little old sawmill, and they'd saw it up and make the framing for the church. They wasn't a making. We bought the, the dressed timber from Moultrie from, from the big, where the dress lumber, you know. Yeah. But they, 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 they cut them big trees and got them big heart. So, you know, that was good timber that then the framing was made out of, the big old heart trees. And that church is still standing? Yeah, yeah. part of it is. Yeah. Part of it is still standing. No building there. But they, they they pushed it way in the back and use it for uh, more storage rooms and and, uh, and you know handy. Room. We don't use it for uh, nothing. The regular church room, but we do use use it to store things. You know, like that. It's way at the back of the. Uh, we got a big old brick church. Then we got the, the, the then the, the next we'll be build on big Sunday school rooms. We built the big old wooden chairs and then moved it back. And then uh, when we moved that church back, then they cut it up into Sunday school rooms. And then they built the brick church. And now they've got more Sunday school rooms built on, on closed down. On the closed down. Of course, they tore down some of the old, mm -hmm. old, the first old Sunday school rooms. They tore them out when they built the, the last new ones. Yeah. The oldest members of Oakdale Church, and she was one of these old kind that, it, it's only just what come up, come out. Yeah. She was one of these old kind that if it's fit, it fit, and if it's old, it don't fit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
one Sunday I never will forget, and young daddy was then we was living at Norm Park, but we still went back to Oakdale to church every Sunday. And just as we got to Link Babe's house, she lived about two or three miles on this side between Norman Park and, and the church. And she drove out her Mary and Grace, that was her her daughters, and started to, to church and when we got there we all drove up about the same time and stopped pretty close together and I got out and I, I said, Ain't babe? Church is done started. We're late. We'll just have to slip in at the back door. Oh no, I ain't neither. Me and you ain't it. No, you ain't neither. Don't you know us the backbone of this church is just slip in there? So I go right where I always said. <laughs> and she did. <laughs> so we just went on up to our regular old seat. <laughs> right down front, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, she said, that's the backbone of this church. <laughs> That's just the way she said. That's the backbone of this church. And you tagging along behind her, huh? Yeah. And she was, and she had grandyoungers as old as I was then. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh. But, boy, well, when she said it, she meant it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't cross her either, did you? No, sir. <laughs> yeah. No, sir. Didn't cross her <laughs> And he had a lot, good many hogs, and he was, I know my daddy was there helping him to, with, with some hogs. I don't know what they was doing, but they were changing them from one pen to another. And an old big male hog with old big long tush that long got the mat with, uh, with Mr. Norman because he was trying to make him go in a pen he didn't want to go in. And he whirled around and, and mashed him, and he weighed 504 pounds, and he just cut him to the bone with that tush mm -hmm. right across back to The blood just poured out down there. Mm. Ooh, he, he had a good head. He had a good head. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can remember my, my daddy was there helping him. I never did get over all that. He always thought so much of old man. We always called him on Sunday night. Yeah. Mm. And then that left her with two married daughters and, and 11 more at home. And the baby was seven months old. Goodness. And here I am, I can't handle two. Huh? Here I am, and I can't handle two. <laughs> well, she, she had. Thirteen children, and there was two of them that was married, and the others was from babies on. Yeah. Grown, grown. Now thirteen of them lived, huh? Thirteen lived. But whenever she said, "Hop," you hopped. Something hopped. <laughs> didn't matter who or what, something hopped, didn't it? Something hopped. <laughs> You don't come across people like that too much anymore. Was well, that seven months old baby? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's for sure. There are weavers. Mothers. It was the seven months old. Yeah. Yes, I'm okay. It's real nice out here today. 